Hey folks, I'm Pete, and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today I have a real treat for you. We're gonna make Thai peanut sauce. It's delicious, it's fabulous, and you know what? I've mastered the recipe, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now, so let's begin. Here's what you're gonna need. Unsweetened, chunky peanut butter, some uh, salted peanuts, coconut milk. You're gonna need curry. You can either have curry powder, or I prefer there's this masaman curry. It comes in a little tin. It's a little bit uh, trickier to find. Then you're gonna need chili paste. Any chili paste is fine. I use chili sauce, some ketchup, and some other heat. Lemongrass, onions, garlic, a little bit of sugar, and some of this tamarind uh, puree, or if not, you can use a vinegar of your choice, just to get a little, a little bit of sour. So I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. So here's the lemongrass. It's really available in most grocery stores nowadays. And what you do is you cut the ends of the lemongrass, and then you take off the outer layers. So there's one, there's two, and that's getting down to the softer uh, core. That's probably about it. And what I'm gonna do is I'll wash this up and then I'll show you how to chop it. So what you do once you have the lemongrass cleaned up is before you chop it up, you have to uh, tenderize it. So that means beat it. And then chop it up into little ringlets. And once you get it all chopped up into little ringlets, uh, give it a good mincing, you know, run it under the knife a couple of times to get it into little tiny, tiny chunks. The smell of lemongrass is absolutely exotic. There's something really lovely about it. Okay, so here you go. So that's about one and one and, to one and a half um, stalks of lemongrass minced, one large onion minced, and two cloves of garlic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some sunflower oil in there. You don't have to be shy with the sunflower oil. And now I'm gonna just uh, turn it on to sort of a medium heat. I like to cook onions with a bit of salt, so I'm just adding a bit of salt. And just soften this all up before I add the next ingredients. So let's leave that. It'll probably be about five minutes or so. Okay, this has been about five minutes and the onions and stuff has uh, softened uh, nicely. Uh, you don't want it burnt, but it just softened nice. I'm gonna add the uh, curry, the Musselman curry paste, about one good um, teaspoonful. Okay, now I'm gonna add a good tablespoon of the tamarind puree. Of course, you can just use vinegar too. Now about a tablespoon of the chili paste. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to that. I personally like to add a little bit of ketchup too. So now I'm gonna put about a half cup of unsweetened peanut butter, the chunky one. So now about one cup of uh, crushed peanuts. And the way I like to do this is I like to put them in the zip bag and uh, use the meat tenderizer or rolling pin and crush them in the bag. It really is a great way to do that without making a mess. Okay, so now the near the end ingredient is about one and a half cups of uh, coconut milk. Uh, this is where you can control the sweetness. So you can add some sugar, probably about two teaspoons full of sugar. So I'll add that now. I'm gonna come up to a boil now. Okay, so this has come up to a boil and we've adjusted the taste. We've added a little bit of rice wine vinegar to get a, give it a little bit more sour and we added a little bit of salt to bring up the saltiness. Of course, you can check for a heat uh, by adding some, some hot sauce and also some, sa uh, some sweetness if you needed sugar. We love to use this on satays, on lettuce wraps, stir fries, or even just rice, and it makes it an absolutely delicious meal and it takes it up to the next level. Enjoy.